Joining me today, I have a very special guest. He's actually the person who got me into this trouble in the first place. Without Anthony, I would probably not be sat here today. <laughs> when we first sat down, I was very, very much involved in my art, painting all day, every day. Couldn't think about anything else. I saw a Facebook message at the time from Anthony talking about Bitcoin. I'd heard of it a couple of times before, but not really had any idea what it was. Anthony's quite a, quite a nerdy, techy, weird bloke. And, uh, I Thank thought, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, you know what, I'm going to reach out to him. We sat down, had dinner, and I walked away from there. It was about two years ago now, and I haven't looked back. So, Anthony, thanks for that. No problems. It <laughs> uh, doesn't sound like you're going to ever to, are you going to leave anytime soon in this space. I don't think so. Yeah, deep in the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it that got you involved? Because a lot of people have heard about it. Yeah. But almost nobody understands, understands it. it. I agree. And, and when I sat down with you, a lot of what you said made sense Yeah. on a really basic level. And it took me another six months for it to really click yeah and then it's taken another year and a half for it to solidify and for me to be yeah it, yeah yeah it really is I'm, you know i'm fascinated so thank yeah. you uh, thank you and not thank you <laughs> <laughs> you'll thank me later that's I for sure so. <laughs> so. uh so how i got into it is um i guess similar to max i mean it's it's a very very long journey and it's not an easy journey and Thankfully, because of my characteristics, I'm quite a compulsive and an obsessive person. So when I find a sub subjects very interesting, I like to read everything and everything and watch anything and listen to anything. And it took me ages to, to fully, fully understand it. And I think, I don't think there's a simple answer to people understanding it. I think you generally have to have your own personal experience with it, try, trying to understand it, you know, even if it's just reading one article or watching one YouTube a day or whatever it is. I mean, I at one stage was re watching and reading like 20, 30 articles a day, countless hours, podcasts, and I finally it just started to click. But how I got into it was um, my girlfriend's friend at the time was working for a very big company and uh, quit his job to work on a company called Coinbase. And which is now the largest Bitcoin exchange in the world. So he would come to these social gatherings and I'd always ask him like what he did. And he always said, and he mentioned Bitcoin numerous times as a Bitcoin exchange, but never really understood what Bitcoin was. So I'd always ask him like really stupid questions now looking back. Examples? Just like, you know, like question. standard questions, what is Bitcoin? And you would explain to me and I didn't really understand it. So you would explain it to me like, oh, it's this decentralized form of money. And I'd be like, okay, because you just, you know, I barely know him. I'm just being polite. I don't want to go in too deep with him. And, you know, I just say, oh, yeah, nod your head. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but not really fully understanding the concept of it and, and its place in the world. But the guy was super smart, very well educated. And so I was like, well, he can't be an idiot. I mean, mm. he clearly knows something I don't know. But yeah, we would have a few social gatherings. And then one of my friends, uni friends, he was really into Ethereum uh, at the time. And uh, obviously I knew it was a cryptocurrency, but didn't really understand what it was. He obviously made a fair amount of money out of it. Yeah. And he said, and then one day he just sat me down and said, this is how you can get involved. He, he set me up a wallet, a software wallet. He, he told me to go on Coinbase. He used his referral link. And that was my initial entry into the space. And then, uh, but I didn't really understand what I was buying. So he would say, yeah. buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. And most of them were old and a lot of them are now worth zero. But it was a, it was a, it was a good experience just because, you know, sometimes you need skin in the game. Yeah, Otherwise, absolutely. you won't really understand it. Or if it doesn't hurt you, you're not going to understand why it hurt you. Yeah. So this was, but unfortunately, I got in early enough where I rode that peak from Bitcoin from, it was from four to 20,000. So I, I experienced a bull market. And yeah, it's 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 crazy. A bull market, you mean, uh, you, you the, the percentage you're making was like thousands and thousands of percents unheard of in the stock market or any market. So, but I also experienced a, 
very long bear market and in hindsight i should have known better and i should have just sold it all at the top and at the time i didn't own a single bitcoin because everyone said oh really? this is gonna be the next bitcoin this was but in in truth and honesty there's nothing that's going to be better or, or, or bigger than bitcoin bitcoin is bitcoin yeah. and it took me a while to understand that so first i had to really understand what cryptocurrencies was and then i understood that bitcoin was the only real value cryptocurrency I, I mean i'm not a bitcoin maximalist like max is i do believe in other cryptocurrencies but i do fundamentally believe that bitcoin if it is going to be remotely like money bitcoin has the best opportunity to become money yeah. out of or any uh, any of the other alts yeah, yeah i would say i'm a maximalist but i'm open to the idea of something else mm -hmm. i'm not I'm, I'm never gonna just close my mind completely and say nothing else is ever gonna be useful but like you say, when it comes to money, mm -hmm. it's Bitcoin. Yeah, like, yeah. It, definitely. Yeah. But, but if, if someone comes up with yeah. another use case for a blockchain, potentially it can be something else. But right now, I just don't see it. If someone shows me something and can prove itself, then great. But it does seem... Again, it took me a load of time to get... Get yeah, to that stage as well. Like I've bought 100%. all the alts. Like it's not like I came in. Well, that's what we did in the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had about, I had about twenty. Yeah. I remember. I remember sitting down with yeah. you, and I remember. Let's do a fund. I'm, yeah, Buy let's twenty do a alts. Fund. Yes. Yeah, we bought like twenty alts. They're all worthless. Nothing. Now. Absolutely yeah, nothing. Absolutely worthless. And then I think I paid twenty quid for all of yours. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I sold them for Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I yeah. yeah, really lost all my money yeah. there. But it took. Like, like you say, you have to get burned. And, yeah. and I, ha I had to go through that pain. Mm -hmm. And I was watching all the YouTube videos and there was all these Lambo boys just like telling yeah. you about all these different alts. And yeah. until you until I understood the, the fundamentals, then I was like, oh, well, it's just like stocks. Mm -hmm. And I, I just thought, oh, it's just like penny stocks. Mm -hmm. But once, once I understood, well, this is competing to be global money, mm -hmm. that's when I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah, I, yeah, I understand yeah. this now, but it's, yeah. it does take that time. But you also have to, what I always, when people ask me now what Bitcoin is, I've, I've always asked them, you need to know what money is first before you ask me what Bitcoin is. Yeah. Because unfortunately, I don't think many people have had that education of really questioning money. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, you can't study money. You know, money is one yeah. of those things that you're almost like predetermined or, or by your parents yeah this is a way of exchanging value but you never question it you, you just you just you adopt it and you accept it um but i don't think anyone's really questioned money so when i question like my friends like what money is i don't think i've ever come across a credible answer to what money is they always stumble about going oh you know it's money i you know i've used it or, you know i can use it, it, it it's been in existence from the dawn of time and yeah yeah and 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 that's their answer and i i i it, it is an answer, but I don't think it's it's an answer with any form of substance. That's a, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, especially when there's like a little bit of a rise in price. No one gives a shit normally. Yeah. But when there's a little bit of a rise in price and people ask me about it, that is the first thing I will try and go to is right. What is money? Yeah. How does it work? Yeah. Why is it? You know, and, and yeah. I go through that with them, and very very quickly you realise. Even people who are deep in finance, yeah. like people who work in banks, traders, people who understand or should understand finance, they understand finance, but they don't understand money. Yeah. So they understand how to like yeah. navigate around within the financial system. 100%, yeah. For sure. And, and this is a perfect example. My, my other half is, is in finance. She works yeah. in one of the biggest banks in the world. Yeah. And even she didn't really understand what money was. I mean, she knew how to play the financial game, but... If you actually ask her what money is, I mean, she, even her, she would find very difficult to answer. Answer, and she really knows her shit. And like, she knows, yeah, like she, yeah, she she yeah. really does, yeah, yeah. And that so that's where that and and so so then the next question people will, or, or one of the next questions people will ask, well, you're telling me that you think there can be this rise of a hundred hundred x or a thousand x from here in the next ten or twenty years. Mm -hmm. How can that be possible? Because if it's so good then everyone would know. Mm -hmm. And my answer is, that's where the information asymmetry is. Because no one understands what money is, yeah. it means that there's a tiny, tiny percentage of people who could possibly understand why Bitcoin's important. Mm -hmm. And then there's an even smaller group 
from that mm-hmm. that would actually have had the time to invest and look into what Bitcoin mm-hmm. is. Yeah. And then you have yeah. to understand the technical side of it. Yeah. And you have to understand the geopolitics. Yeah. So the amount of people who understand this is tiny. Mm-hmm. And that's why there's the upside. Yeah. Huge upside. That's why, yeah. like, and it's, there's, in my opinion, I think yours as well, there's nothing on this planet that has this upside. I agree. I, I, not I, I, I've not come across anything remotely i mean this is probably the single best bet in history i mean you look at the traditional stocks markets i think we're overdue a correction you look at the history of the financial markets recessions happen every five to ten years typically and we have now well since 2008 we have still haven't experienced recession and i personally believe that bitcoin will be probably the single best perform well already has a single best performing asset um, but I think it will perform even better during a recession because yeah. it is not correlated to the monetary system, which has tremendous value. Yeah, it's um, like I said earlier, it, it's taken over my brain like completely. Oh, 100%, um, yeah. Because um, weirdly, like I said before, like Anthony, you're, you're much more like techie. And yeah, you, you well, like, not anymore. <laughs> like, you certainly... No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really into my tech. I've always yeah. been fascinated by tech. Like, I've got... And, I, and one of the biggest things which why I found digital currency fascinating is I'm really into gaming. So having a, like, I get digital currency, I, I completely get it. I'm like, I, I probably spend, yeah, I spend hours on games and I spend real money to get in-game currency to get the like latest skins, latest weapons, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I completely understand like digital currency, which is why I think it was probably a lot easier for me to understand digital, understand cryptocurrencies. But I think it's, you know, I think we're getting there. I mean, I mean, I, me personally, I, I don't ever carry cash anymore. I think all of all my transactions are now digital. You see, that's where we're complete opposites. Yeah. And that's weird. So you understood it because of, well, lots of reasons, but a lot of it because you are more tech and you, you are into your game yeah. and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Whereas for me, you have always laughed at me because I hate yeah. cards. I only believe in cash. Yeah. And I have a massive distrust of everything. Yeah. So people will always take the piss out of me for that. Even before Bitcoin, I was banging on to everyone saying, we cannot get rid of cash. It's mm-hmm. a real problem. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, this is so stupid to get yeah. rid of cash. But I didn't know about Bitcoin. But mm. weirdly, what made it click for me was I was like, oh, this yeah. thing. what I've been waiting yeah. for, yeah. what I've been ranting about for the last yeah. five years, yeah. it's now here. And that's Bitcoin, it's digital cash. So I didn't understand the tech side and I needed Anthony yeah. because I remember when you first spoke to me, I was like, look, mate, I'm really, really busy. I'm doing my art. I was never really out of the studio. I said, look, can you just invest some money for me? Because I don't mm. have the time. Heavily involved in property again. So I, like whatever time I wasn't in the studio, I was, I was in the property. So... I needed you to show me the technical side. And it is really horrible interface. Yeah. Like sending that first transaction, I was shitting myself. Yeah. No, I bet. Horrible. Yeah. And I still go through the same experience where I'd have to double check. You have to look at the uh, the blockchains whether they've been verified or not. Yeah, it's it's not it's and it can be a better process. And I think Definitely. it will it will get there. It will get there for sure. It will get there. It already has. Like, from, yeah. from when I started to now, I mean, I've spent so much time actually learning yeah. the technical side now yeah. i've got much more into it but from when i first did it copying a, a private keys private yeah. keys and I'm, I'm sending that across and you're waiting for a confirmation and if one thing is wrong you lose all your money and it's that's really stressful but yeah. now it is getting easier there's yeah. so many good wallets so many good exchanges there's lots of decentralized exchanges yeah. now which are much better like yeah. you use bisc yeah no never there's something i never, never really got into it's yeah really... I've, I've yeah coinbase is my main yeah. thing yeah um, um but yeah i completely see the value in that and the lightning network everything that's happening yeah the well. second layer scaling solutions it's all coming and that all i mean that's a, I, I guess the biggest problem is People think that, oh, I can't spend the Bitcoin, yeah. you know, and and uh, the thing is, there's a thing called Gresham's Law and, and money t- over time is what is good money. And it, it's, for example, if I gave you one, if I said, here's a, here's a, here's a bar of gold or bar of silver and they were are they the exact same value, which one would you use to spend to buy a piece of clothing? And you the use answer is the worst. Exactly. So the, exactly. The bad, exactly. The bad exactly. Money chases out. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So that's which is why 
no one's spending Bitcoin because people who buy Bitcoin generally believe in Bitcoin. So for me, I would never spend Bitcoin until it reaches that sort of threshold price, which I don't think is anytime soon. But it will, it will happen. Yeah. It will take time. But yeah, I would most definitely spend cash because cash loses money. Yeah. Bitcoin ascends money. So the only, only chart you really need to look at is the US dollar versus the Bitcoin. Yeah. And you will see that dollar is losing value to Bitcoin. Yeah. And why would I hold cash when I can hold you, Bitcoin? You have to zoom out, though. Yeah. And that's, that's another problem is, like, people will flick on the chart and they'll be like, they'll, they'll look at a five-minute chart or a 15-minute yeah. chart or things like that. And, yeah. And, and then it doesn't make sense. But if yeah. you look at it across since inception, mm. you know, it's an obvious clear pattern. Oh, it's, yeah. It is, like, yeah. it's clear as day. Yeah. And that's the, that's the whole thing is, like, a lot of this stuff is about zooming out, isn't it? It's... Zooming out of not just the charts, but zooming out and looking at the whole world geopolitically. What's going on? Mm-hmm. What are the trends? Yeah. And like you said, older generations, and even to me, naturally, other than technically, didn't make that much sense because I'm not into gaming and I'm mm. not used to that sort of stuff. Mm. But for the generation. Oh, coming, coming now, yeah. That's, they're, they're living on Fortnite. 100%. They're living on all, this, all these Yeah, 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 100%. Like, they, they will be used to digital native currencies. Yeah. And they'll probably think that is worth more money than, than money itself because they are in the world of Fortnite. They're used to yeah, it. Yeah, they're used to it. So do you think that's where... Because I've almost not given up, but when I've, for the first six months, mm. year, I was trying to talk to every single person about this. And yeah. I was just like stressing... Guys, I don't think you understand uh, yeah. what I'm telling you. Yeah. Even if you don't invest in this, understand what's going to happen to the stock market. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. But no one cares. No, no one understands. They don't it. want to know. Uh, they don't want to know. Yeah. And I've sort of given up. Like, especially, yeah. especially with people I've tried with a few yeah. times, I now just think, do you know what? Just, yeah. I, I'm going to let you just. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, if you're that yeah. ignorant, but yeah. the younger generation. Yeah. I think they're going to take this like ducks to water I agree be, and, I agree and they're they're the ones coming into the workforce now I agree what does it take to get this because gaming I think you're right that's going to make this mainstream yeah what does it take because obviously these like Fortnite and mm. these sort of games they're probably not going to do it certainly yet yeah because they've got a good setup they sell everything yeah there. is there going to be another game that's going to come in and you're just going to have Bitcoin as the tokens I tell you what made me think of it was that um, Ready uh, Player One. Ready Player One. Yeah. When, when I watched Ready Player One, I just went, "That's exactly what's going to happen." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and those coins are going to be Satoshi's, mm-hmm. and that's happening. Yeah, I can see that for sure. I can see that. I can't I can see, see how it won't, especially with Lightning Network. That yeah. is happening. It's got like technically, it's possible to build it within a game, mm-hmm. and you've got the best money that's ever been. Yeah. Like, backing it. Yeah. And it's the most secure money yeah. that's ever been yeah. backing it. Yeah. So now that it's technically possible, I always say like, oh, it's five, ten years away, but maybe it's not. Like, not for games. Yeah, I, th- I think there will be a curve, uh, learning curve. Unfortunately, all I mean, all these systems, uh, for example, gaming. You know, unfortunately, people are paid in cash, and yeah. they buy, buy their software in cash. The invoices, you know, in cash. The bills are in cash. Yeah. So when you say that, you mean like debit card. Like yeah, yeah, exactly, fiat. exactly. It's yeah. not, it's not. Yeah, they don't not pay their cash. stuff yeah. in Bitcoin, so that will take time. Mm. But unless that changes, I can't see the the digital currency being Bitcoin because because of because it fluctuates a lot. Bitcoin, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it it's not a stable currency, mm-hmm. but that will come. And I think within ten years, it, it will definitely stabilize. Because it because sure. once once it hits six figures, you know it's 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 very difficult for it to move double yeah. that double that. It it will, it will take more time to move it. Um, so at that point, it becomes stable, and that's probably when when you'll probably see more people getting paid in Bitcoin, yeah. invoices being paid in Bitcoin, and that's when you'll start seeing their products being Bitcoin. It's going to be a while. It will be a while. Like you're saying, the whole of the I mean the. The whole of the market cap of Bitcoin is like a hundred billion. Oh, it's tiny. Which yeah, is, it's I tiny. Mean, like obviously that's a lot of money, but it yeah. is like in relative terms. Oh, yes. that is 
absolutely a drop yeah. in the ocean. Have you just seen that chart of how it compares to the stock markets, the derivatives, yeah, the real tiny. estate? It is tiny, tiny, tiny. Like, yeah, it's, it's and yeah, you know, which is why I, I love it because there's so much upside. And what I love about it is that you, you have to compare Bitcoin to gold because mm-hmm. fundamentally gold was backed, well, money was backed by gold yeah. uh, until 1970s, 171, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and gold's market cap is, I believe, is 8 trillion yeah, from memory. So, you know, I personally believe that Bitcoin is gold 2.0. It can do everything that gold can do except for being physical, which I don't, yeah, which I think is fine because we, we're moving into digital uh, world yeah. where digital things have value. Just because it's not physical doesn't mean it has no value. But it also, you know, t- traditionally gold, people who store gold, mm-hmm. a lot of them, a lot of the people who stored gold are not trusting their governments mm-hmm. and they didn't trust the current yeah. financial system. So they would hoard their gold and hide it and all the rest mm-hmm. of it which is great because gold doesn't degrade, it doesn't rust, yeah, the rest of it. Yeah. And it has value pretty much anywhere you go. And it's oh, got a long, yeah. long history. Yeah. You, know, you can you can get rid of gold if you need to. Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of benefits with Bitcoin that gold just doesn't have. Like, I agree. I know it's not physical, but... It's scarcer. Yeah. yeah, and It's, it's more divisible. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, more fungible. And, and you, can, you can't email gold <laughs> no the world of course not yeah seconds. yeah yeah and it costs more much more to move gold 100 percent. and it and it costs a lot of money to verify if gold is real uh, yeah 100 like percent. you you can't it's, it's thousands and it's not censorship gold. resistant yeah so yeah for all those reasons like to, to me like there's this quite you know peter schiff who's always yeah. on twitter like yeah, yeah. I, troll gold him, bug. I troll him now. yeah yeah, like, yeah he annoys me now because <laughs> i now think that he actually understands <clears throat> But he has a business built around gold. Of course, yeah. He can't not understand. Of course, he's done and he makes his money being a yeah. Bitcoin troll. Yeah, and it just but <clears> like Nero Rubini or yeah, that guy is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ridiculous bloke. I just can't even watch him anymore. Yeah, but, so, uh, yeah. For so many reasons, it is better. Percent. What I love about it is like you know, if I want to try, if I want, if I had, if I had a hundred million, you know, mm. I could transfer a hundred million pounds in my brain. All I had to remember is my keys. Yeah. And that is a powerful, powerful thing. It's like magic. I mean, how are you going to transfer 100 million in gold? In gold? Well, impossible. Yeah. On your own? Impossible. Yeah, impossible. Yeah, impossible. Get that, get, take that through the airport. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> and that's like, what I mean. Yeah. You'd be in prison be so stops. quickly. Yeah, exactly. Where's it come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can do that. And then there's the, the security aspect of it as well is like... You, you can place the storage, yeah, it, security it, around it. And with Bitcoin, you can open unlimited wallets mm-hmm. for free. Yeah. Like to put it into perspective of how hard it is for someone to crack or hack one of those wallets, you have to take the entire globe mm-hmm. and you split it into boxes of one millimeter by one millimeter mm-hmm. all across the entire globe. Mm-hmm. And now to crack just one wallet mm-hmm. would mean that you would have to guess in sequence mm-hmm. three boxes Mm -hmm. that someone has chosen at random yeah and you'd have to choose them in perfect sequence Mm -hmm. yeah so that just shows quite how secure this is Mm -hmm. and you don't have to have one you can have hundreds or thousands or millions Mm -hmm. and you can split it as many times as you want so you have better security for free Mm -hmm. than any bank yeah or any government yeah on the planet Mm -hmm. that's mad yeah that's crazy. I know. And like, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing how this person discovered. It's, and kudos to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do, like on, on previous episodes, um, I had Kerim on just to talk about. And we, we sort of brushed, we talked briefly about Satoshi. But do you have any theories on it? Oh, who he is? Um, Not that it really matters. But like, yeah, I don't think it matters. But I think I know who he is. But I, I don't want to guess. And nor do I really care yeah. I think the fact he is anonymous is amazing I mean you look at what's happened to Libra you know everyone knows Facebook's behind it and if, if the government want to stop it they'll go straight to Mark Zuckerberg and say you, we're yeah. stopping this who are you going to call for Bitcoin yeah no one who do you think how uh, what do you mean how how Didn't he? why not uh, if you have to guess like it's no the, one knows I think it's the say. guy but I can't remember the guy's name he Craig Wright is suing this guy he's 
claiming Craig Wright's suing everyone. No, for anyone but, who doesn't know, Craig Wright is a yeah. fuckwit yeah. Who, um, who pretends to yeah. be Satoshi, and he's got this shitty scam coin called BSV. Yeah, and he he's one of the most stupid people I've ever and toxic heard. to the community. He's yeah, toxic, and yeah. not only that, he dresses like a clown. I've yeah. never seen anything like it. He's yeah, the yeah. weirdest guy. Yeah. And he just goes around suing people with this other idiot, sort of slash paedophile, Calvin Air. Oh, yeah. Um, suing everyone yeah. with his money. And yeah. then this weird little Jimmy the Snake, the little, their lawyer, I, Jimmy, yeah, yeah, I, I can't know. remember his yeah, name, yeah, yeah. but weird, weird people. So yeah. you think it's someone who's suing? Who's suing, I think, who he's subsequently, de- he's, he's dead now. Um, right, okay. Yeah. Well, he's suing someone who's dead? Oh, he's now dead? Yeah, he's now dead, yeah. Oh. I can't remember the guy's name. I'll dig it up. I'll no, dig it up. But that's who I think it is. But I, I had a wrong. weird thought. It might be Hal. Really? Okay. He's the first person to ever run Bitcoin. Okay. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I was Satoshi and I wanted to, like... Because yeah. it's almost the biggest double bluff, isn't it? It's yeah, like, of course. Run it as yourself. And then he was dying. Yeah, yeah, he knew yeah. he was dying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's loads of conspiracy theories around it. I mean, some yeah. people think he's British. If you looked at any of his earlier, earlier forums, yeah. he'd always use the word, like, bloody... Etc. Etc. Yeah. Which is quite an English terminology. And the, the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was well, mostly thing. European. Um, some people claim it's some sort of um, Asian conglomerate of yeah, all, 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 all working Samsung, together. Yeah. So Toshiba. Toshi. So Samsung Toshiba. is the Sir, and then Toshi would be Toshiba, yeah. and Nakamoto would be Nak- um, would be Nakamoto Industries, and then Moto is Motorola, but. No, I don't. That's think ridiculous. That, yeah, it's, it's just, that's it's just a coincidence more than anything. I mean, like I was saying, it doesn't really matter, but it is fascinating. Whoever Satoshi was, yeah, and just because you don't know who it is doesn't make it not credible. Like, it who makes it more it? credible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what's. That's what's yeah, amazing. I mean, who invented the tire? Who invented the wheel? Yeah, who invented exactly. the no pencil? You know, no one. But everyone it. uses it. That's true. Yeah, it means it's more secure. It yeah, means it can't ever be centralized. Yeah. which is brilliant. I'd just like to know, just because whoever's done this, if it plays out the way that mm. I think we both see it mm. playing out, he needs a Nobel Peace Prize. Like, oh, 100%. He needs more than that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The, whoever's done this really has a shot at changing the world, like in ways I that agree. just... I agree. They boggle I agree. my mind. I think the biggest... You, so you see all these protests happening all around the world... And whether it's environmentalist, you know, people unhappy about their political parties or whatever it is, at the end of the day, it all comes down to money. Always. Always. It all comes so down weird. to money. That was my yeah. last podcast. Yeah. That was exactly what I'm talking about. Protest. It always comes, like you say, it yeah. always comes down to money. Yeah, because there's no transparency of money. They never win. Yeah. These people are incredibly passionate about what their cause their which cause. is rightfully Absolutely. so yeah yeah but you can't fix any of these issues unless you fix money absolutely so money's power exactly and bitcoin is the solution but people can't see, can't it. see it they just can't see it they just i've sat with you know alice at denville yeah yeah so one of my closest people in my mm. life absolutely love her to pieces and she's really doing her best to try and help with all this climate change mm-hmm. stuff. And like I respect her so much for yeah. doing it. She is putting so much effort in and she really cares. And mm-hmm. but but I'm trying to explain to her and say, if you want to make real change, mm-hmm. if you want to force the government to make these changes, mm-hmm. you need to take your money out of the system. Mm-hmm. Because that's so much more impactful. Mm-hmm. And you have millions of people protesting at the moment. Mm. You have 21 million coins. Mm. How many people does it take to buy Bitcoin and exit the system to make this thing move like mm. mad? Mm. And then there's a snowball effect. Oh, 100%, yeah. And as soon as it happens, mm. these governments don't have any power. Yeah. And, and as soon as they don't have yeah. any power, they'll ask for their power back. Yeah. And then we're in the driving seat. Yeah. So it's, okay, if you want to do X, Y, and Z, yeah. fine. You listen to our con- our terms and conditions. Yeah. We want the control back. Yeah. You stop fucking about. Yeah. You know, wh- whatever it is that you're protesting about, yeah. you suddenly have power. Yeah. And this is something that can happen in... It's not, oh, it's going to take a hundred years of fighting, mm. which would never win anyway. Because yeah. protests... I respect the people who do it, but it's never going to work. Because yeah. Because they're not in the driving seat. Like yeah. They have no control. This could happen. Like if everyone actually teamed together, this could happen in months. Yeah. It could be a complete flip in months. Yeah. And that's 
the main reason I've started this podcast is, well, there's a few reasons. One, I'm trying not to talk so much about it in my normal life. Yeah. Because everyone just thinks you're a complete lunatic. Mm. Um, people just get bored with it. Yeah. And <clears throat> it's basically a waste of breath. Yeah. So that's one. But I need, I feel that it's important to talk about it. So I'm putting it out there. And if someone finds it and I help someone, then great. Mm-hmm. But the main reason is I had a fear of cash being eradicated before. Mm-hmm. And I have a massive fear and a complete mistrust in government. Mm-hmm. And always have. Like, yeah, fair from, enough. Yeah, from, yeah. from day one. Yeah. Always been that way. So I truly believe this can make changes. And I'm trying to get this information out there. But it's so hard. Like, it is. It's so hard is. to get people to understand it. Yeah. I've tried so many different ways to frame it. Yeah. I've tried scaring yeah. people. Yeah. A few of the articles I've written recently are like basically saying, if you want... George or Wells, 1984. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing for a few more years. Yeah. You're basically yeah. there. Um, that doesn't work. Yeah. I've tried the sort of explaining what money is. That doesn't work. Uh, like, yeah. I think humans are intrinsically quite reactive. Yeah. In, yeah, in life in general. And maybe, but I, you know, the irony of this whole thing is everyone knows I love Bitcoin. I'm known as Crypto Tony. They know I love Bitcoin. <laughs> and the saddest thing is, when we do hear recession and when Bitcoin does hit six figures, yeah. all these people who knew I knew about Bitcoin will then start asking me about Bitcoin and wanting to know about Bitcoin. Yeah. And at that point, and yes, there crazy. is still some upside, but you could have had that upside when you when Bitcoin was 3,000. You know, it would have been a much bigger upside. But, but each their own. I mean, I've tried. No one listens. I mean... I mean, because I live with my girlfriend, I mean, she's just about understood it. <laughs> How long has that taken? A uh, while. Well, I mean, she's a banker and she's been, she, and, yeah, it's taken a while, but now she understands it. But that's only because, like, sometimes we have long journeys, yeah. you know, we'd listen to really hour long podcasts. And, and the people on, on these podcasts are not idiots. I mean, like, Raul Powell, who's yeah. ex um, Goldman Sachs, yeah. you know, all these big bankers, they're already in it. A lot of the macro guys. Yeah, right? they're already in it. They get it. Yeah. I, I, I know. They I'm, just keep. I reckon a lot of them just keep quiet. Oh, hundred percent. It's a silent so, protest. You get so much shit yeah. for it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, some banks are saying employees are not allowed to buy it because mm. they're generally threatened by the existence of Bitcoin. Because that, because anyone who truly understands it knows that, well, they won't have a job if, yeah. if Bitcoin takes off. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And and that you get even if you even if you're not going to lose your job. You people lose respect for you because yeah. it's still this fringe. Like the view of from most people is like, ah, oh, this is like drug dealers. And yeah, this, which and is the most it's so pathetic stupid. argument. It's, yeah. it's like anyone who says like, oh, well, it's only useful money laundering and and drugs, and and I'm like, uh, so does cash. Yeah, uh, yeah if anything, exclusive. Yeah, 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 and like cash US dollar. is way bigger. I mean, yeah. and it's actually. Cash is still the better form. So if you yeah. want to money launder, cash is much better yeah. for money laundering and buying drugs. Yeah, for sure. Um, because I think I think almost every criminal who's money laundered or bought drugs with Bitcoin have been caught. Uh, it's trackable. It's trackable. Uh, it's well, it's, it's pseudo anonymous. Yeah. Um, but it, I mean, yeah, if they know where your IP is linked to, they, they'll fo- they'll find you. Yeah. Um, if you if you want to money launder, use HSBC. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, that's that, what. Um, yeah. Was that was that uh, who are the big drug lords? The cartels. The cartels they they, all use they laundered. Yeah. yeah, use HSBC and laundered cash. And, and and that's the way to do it. But so that that seems to be the argument. And even like so, I've I've tried it in an approach of I'm saying like, especially with property investors who mm-hmm. I used to be involved with, and I'm saying like because I thought they would get it, mm. they laugh at it, mm. but. I've tried the other approach, which was actually, um, uh, was from Pomp. Did you listen to Pomp show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Anthony Pompliano. I don't really listen to it that much now because it's a little bit shitcoiny. Mm. But what I found was quite good. What he said was he was advising people, look, just allocate 1% of your portfolio. Mm-hmm. If you do, over time, the difference just having 1% allocation to Bitcoin to your portfolio mm. is unbelievable. Mm-hmm upside 
and the downside is one percent. Is one percent? Yeah, exactly. It's so, nothing. and so I've tried that with people. Even that, mm. they view as like so reckless. Yeah. And I'm saying like this is a non-correlated asset. Yeah. It's like yeah. having it in portfolio is absolute holy grail. Yeah. For an investor. Yeah. But they can't get it. No, they can't get it. I, and I generally think that's yeah. Will I, it change or is it? Ha- it will change, but I think when it when it, thousand a coin. Yeah, it it's will change when it's too late. Unfortunately, that's not too late though, is it? No, even a hundred thousand. But the thing is, the upside is less. Yeah, that's the problem. The upside now is like we can go from well, it's currently what seven. You know, seven to hundred is a big upside, but from a hundred to two hundred, that's only a two x. It's not that impressive. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah. It, it's a hard one but but then so so then I've tried with the um, you know rather than saying oh look at this as an investment like you mm. said this is a silent protest mm. and it is so powerful mm. I've, I've tried to to the to the people who are protesting and the people who aren't happy so many people are not happy right now yeah like, of course you've only got a flick on the TV yeah and you just look at the clowns yeah, yeah, yeah. especially now like around election time Looking yeah, yeah. At around election time, yeah, you're yeah. like, right, everyone's unhappy. Yeah, everyone's unhappy. <laughs> Protesting about whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has their different views. Yeah, and and like you, you've got the choice of yeah, what are you voting for? Yeah. what are you yeah. doing? And it's always yeah, it's always the same. It's always the same political cycle, you know. Yeah. And nothing ever changes. And, yeah. And everyone's unhappy, and everyone's yeah. stressing, and they're saying, "Oh, we just want want change." But when it's presented, it, mm. it's not. It's not seen as a as an option. Yeah, and I think one of the reasons why people, are, you know, are protesting is because the, the working class, you know, they can't afford wealth managers. No, they have some understanding of the stock market, but probably their family comes first. Mm-hmm. So putting food to the table is yeah, take priority than investing. Yeah, absolutely. Which I get, but the thing is, there's a thing called inflation, and unless your money in your bank account is performing better than inflation you are losing money in real terms yeah. and the sooner people realize that then the, the, they need to understand that there is an alternative to that system and that is bitcoin yeah. although it doesn't look like in a short term basis because it's so volatile it goes ups yeah. and downs ups and downs ups and downs in the lo- in the long run long term investing long term investing it's 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 a good store of value yeah and you know it's 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 only going one way and that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, massive. Yeah. And I think also people are so short sighted. They're like, they, they literally only look at the six month chart. And it's like, oh, oh, right. I was like, oh, yeah. right. It's like, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, you see, like, oh, oh it's yeah, a, it's yeah, a yeah, it came from 20,000 to 3,000. Oh, it's awful. It's a really bad investment. Stay yeah. clear, stay clear. Yeah, and I'm like, zoom out. Yeah, you got to zoom out here yeah, and uh, look at the inception. I mean, it went from zero to 20,000. It, it is incredible. Yeah, uh, it's phenomenal. Yeah. What was the, the first? The first payment was for the pizzas, Laszlo something. Yeah, like sent ten thousand bitcoins for one pizza, and yeah. that, that's worth what forty four million, whatever it is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy so amount. Yeah. Two, the first sale was two Domino's pizzas. Yeah, it was the first time it was ever traded. Yeah. So yeah, forty four million dollars. Yeah. For two, do- and they were Domino's as well, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. one of the worst pizzas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. if he'd have gone for. I quite like a Pizza Express. Yeah. Or, you know, what's the, there's one round the corner from you that's quite a good, nice little proper oh, Italian. Oh, yeah, local, yeah. A little local yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. If it was one of those, you'd go, oh, okay, Yeah, it was enough, Domino's. But, but it's Domino's yeah. too, for yeah. 40, imagine. But but then you needed that because that's that's opened up. Dry, yeah, you know. exactly. It was the first transaction. But, you know, the, the rise of this thing, I think that is another thing where people say, oh, well, you know, everyone who, their view is, it's too late. Yeah. It's not too late. Everyone thinks it's too late. It's not too late. I've I, like heard from people who've been in for seven, eight years. Yeah, they thought it was too late. Yeah, and then six years they thought it was too late. Yeah, and then four years ago they thought it was yeah, too late. Yeah, exactly. And when I got in, I thought it was too late. Yeah, and, exactly. And it, I think it will be like that for the next twenty years. Mm-hmm. Because this thing is designed to just pump. Forever. Yeah, that's yeah. how it's designed. Yeah, like on purpose. Yeah, and I think the halvings were actually purposefully because a lot of people say oh well the volatility around these halvings is not a good thing but I actually think it was designed that way because as the supply then cuts in half Mm. and the amount of demand is larger Mm. it suddenly has this supply shock and then the price shoots through the roof yeah 
And as that happens, that's when people go, <gasps> yeah. they see it moving. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. on CNBC and all the you know, yeah, yeah, talk yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. And then everyone else piles into it. Yeah. So that's why you have yeah, these yeah, parabolic yeah. moves. I agree. And I think the next parabolic move will be even bigger because I think yes, the infrastructure true. now is so much better than four years ago or two years ago. It's incredible. It's incredible. You see, like, I mean, the owner of the New York Stock Exchange have built this thing called BAT. Have you well, seen the volumes on back? It's great. It's very. It's the first impressive. day was really disappointing. Yeah, the first day was very disappointing. <laughs> but once it goes down, the volume clearly the institutions are buying it. It's the volume on this thing. Yeah, when it first launched, nothing, and and it has been steadily growing. Yeah, cash apps involved, which yeah. is the biggest. I think it's the biggest downloaded and used. It's bigger than Venmo now. Oh, the um, cash, Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey. Dorsey. Yeah. So cash app, and they're taking. 8% of all coins mined at the moment. Mm. Just wow. there's one company. Wow. And we're coming up, we're about 200 days from a halving. Mm-hmm. So technically then it's 16%. And then you've got backed and you've got all these other yep. companies at yep. the top. And even from, from when I got involved with it, the amount of hardware wallet manufacturers tripled and it's yep. so much better. Yeah. The amount of decent exchanges. Yeah. The amount of big players who are stepping in mm-hmm. has more than like yep. tenfold. And then we've got Lightning Network and all, yeah. the, all the infrastructure. Have you seen that um, Zap, Jack Mallers? So there's this guy, he's a young, young guy, but like... Oh, is that when you did that YouTube of how quick that transaction went? Did, did I send it to you? I think you did, so yeah. So it's onboarding straight into Lightning. So he's, That's he's it, like yeah, I've seen it. straight onto yeah, I've seen so it. it does yeah. all your channel management yeah. for you. When I first got into this, Lightning wasn't even started. I remember watching the amount of lightning nodes that had sprung up and it was in like the tens. Yeah. And now it's exploded like it's in the thousands. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. growing at yeah. a rapid rate. Yeah. And then you've got... How would you explain lightning to your listeners? Because um, obviously it's quite a... Yeah. So, so we, have, we sort of touched on it on a previous yeah. episode, but lightning network is what they call a second layer solution. Mm-hmm. And what? why do you believe that to be the solution rather than increasing the block size the reason is so there's with everything in life mm. there's trade-offs that's just a simple fact of yeah so the block size that we have which is basically the amount of data that, that we store, store yeah. transaction what it does is it limits the amount of transactions that we can make per second mm-hmm. so what a lot of people would argue well just increase the block size the problem is with that increase every transaction that's sent is data that needs to be stored yeah because that data needs to be stored on what we call nodes, someone who's on a full validating node, it pushes up the amount of data that you have to store. And at the moment, it's about 200 gig from the beginning of Bitcoin mm. to now. Mm. It's about 200 gig, which is manageable. Like, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. You can run one at home. You can yeah. run it on a normal computer. If we increase the block size, that makes it very, very difficult to mm. actually store the data because mm. it's like an exponential difference. Yeah, And... To be able to do the amount of transactions that we need to serve the whole world, yeah. we'd have to have a huge increase in the block size. So, yeah. so rather than doing yeah. that, so the, then the reason you wouldn't do that is if people don't run nodes mm-hmm. because the storage is too demanding, yeah. if they don't run nodes, it means that the network is less decentralized. Mm-hmm. And what that yeah. means is it can be attacked more easily. Yeah. It's not as secure. Yeah. And that's really I mean, without that, it's pointless. Yeah, yeah, agreed. agreed. Um, so that's why we've built this second layer solution. And the second layer solution that they've built so far, there's actually lots of them. It's not just that, yeah, 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 yeah. liquid and all the yeah. other ones. But with Lightning, it's a way to scale pretty much infinitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll surpass Visa, I think. Yeah. yeah. Soon. In terms of transaction per second. Soon. Yeah. Um, so it, it, on the blockchain, we can do seven transactions per second. Mm-hmm. With Lightning, it can be, technically, it can be millions. Yeah. So, and it, it actually makes it more user-friendly for a lot of people mm-hmm. because you can integrate, people don't even really need to know they're using it. Mm-hmm. And, and what it does is it settles back to the original chain. Yeah. So it makes it infinitely more efficient mm-hmm. and fast. Mm-hmm. If you, like like that video I sent, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, instant, is, yeah. it is absolutely, it is instant. Yeah. You can set it up. So the same guy has set it up so you can just blast through all these paywalls. So like if you want a paper article or yeah. pay, you know, pay, paper click stuff, you can set parameters and say anything below this amount, just pay it. 
mm-hmm. and it's just abstracted into the background. Mm-hmm. So your internet browsing experience is seamless. Because mm-hmm. right now it's quite clunky. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Debit card details. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're going to get all of them stolen. And they're all on the dark net now. Yeah. Like, anyone who's listening, all your details... Yeah, yeah, or stored somewhere, yeah. They are available for sale on the dark net mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. They're all stolen. From yeah. Every bank, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. everyone who stores it. Whereas this, nothing's stored. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But I've probably missed something there. What, what's, how do you see the Lightning Network? Uh, the problem is, you know, I, I do believe that we need second layer solutions for scaling. The problem is that with the block size, I think it's two, two megabits, I think. The I problem is, is like, it. what is enough? Because if you scale it to 10 megabits, at that point, in a point in time, that will then become full. And then you need to propose 100 megabits. At that point, you Once need to... Once you start, you never yeah, stop. Yeah, that's a problem. And if that is the case, then you have infinite amount of Bitcoins, different Bitcoins, like mm. Bitcoin Quire Cash, who have proposed a 100 megabits, I think, is their it's block size. Ridiculous. No one's running full now. Exactly. It's so stupid. that's the that's the problem, is when is it enough? Which is why I fundamentally believe in second layer solutions, because yeah. you've kept to the original vision of Bitcoin, mm-hmm. which I think is the correct vision. Yeah. And, uh, and, and second layer solutions doesn't uh, impact on the, uh, the, the fundamentals of the original vision of Bitcoin. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. And we need that for like when you're talking about online gaming and all yeah. these sort of things, we have to have these solutions. And there doesn't have to be one. There can be hundreds. Mm-hmm. There can be thousands because it's a protocol. You just build on top, and yeah, it's software, other yeah. And and so any and it's open source. So anyone who's a software developer who has an idea and they mm-hmm. think, you know what, I can, I'd like to scale this. I'd like to do this. I'd like to change this. Yeah, do it. Yeah, no one's stopping you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It, it, if you want to do it, you do it. Even if only you use it, mm-hmm. valid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or if a if a million people use it, yep. valid. Yep. There's no one yep. telling you. There's no gatekeeper. And that's why I like these things are growing so quick. Like I feel like I blinked. And it is just in, in the last six months, although the price movements haven't been wonderful, like fundamentals are better, I'm so better much more been, yeah. confident now. Yeah, than I agree. I have been I agree. ever. Like I, I'm I agree. So much more I agree. confident. And and every time I see these new projects coming up, I'm yeah. just I'm blown away by yeah, it. but it's yeah. absolutely amazing yeah and you don't even need a an internet connection to send bitcoins anymore no you can send over satellite yeah yeah, got yeah blockstream are doing that which is crazy yeah they, so he basically just saying it can't be stopped no it can't, it can't be stopped yeah blockstream got their satellite yeah there's a there's a few companies who are doing like mesh networking yeah so you can send it like that you can send it by emojis. You can send it yeah, by text. I've seen that, yeah. You can send it, yes, yeah, so you can send it by text. Yeah. You can, you can tweet it to people. Now. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Drop bit of your yeah. wallet where you can just yeah. tweet it. There's a few actually who can yeah, 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 tweet, yeah. tweet it across. If you absolutely have to, you can send it like SOS uh, signal. Yeah. So any medium, any way you want to send this. Yeah, it's doable. It's doable. Yeah. So to stop it, you would need to have one armed guard mm. standing next to every citizen in the world mm. all day mm. and then they'd need to switch with another armed guard to mm. guard them all night mm. which obviously is impossible yeah uh, especially with no funding because yeah. you now don't have any funding because yeah. everyone's using bitcoin yeah so yeah 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 game over yeah it's yeah. just not happened yet it's like uh, yeah it's and, and, and countries are mostly all in debt yeah, and you look at the US national debt; it's like twenty-two trillion. It's remarkable. It's ridiculous. One fifth of the national debt budget goes to paying off interest rates off that debt. It's yeah, horrible. yeah. It's not looking great. It's horrible. Yeah. I wrote something the other day about you know, there's this like OK Boomer thing that's mm. going around, and you have like all the all the people like, slagging off millennials and basically saying, "Oh, they're yeah, lazy, yeah. and that's why they can't buy properties." Yeah. Well, I was trying to explain in that article the amount of debt that we have. Obviously, has to be paid. Debt must be paid. Of course, so, yeah. what we've done is run up a credit card, or we, government, yeah. have run up a massive credit card. Yeah. They've made houses unaffordable for mm. people of our generation. They've mm. made everything. If you want a car, basically, it's on finance. If you mm. want to do anything, yeah, yeah, of course. it's on finance. Yeah. Ownership is not really a thing anymore. Yeah. And if you do finally own a home, 
most people will get like ten percent mortgage, so you don't really own yeah. your home. Which is why you're now seeing like uh, co ownership coming in. Uh, you you can now have um, now renting is the new thing where you yeah. don't have ownership, so you've seen like co living. Yeah, is a thing now. Yeah, co-living. Yeah, so you don't have the ownership, and then what's going to happen is we're going to get passed over this credit card. Mm. They're going to say, "Do you want to pay that for us?" Mm. We go, "Hold on, we don't get free schooling, mm. we don't get pensions, mm. we don't get ownership of house, we don't get the benefit of all our assets rising in price, so that we can just basically do fuck all mm. after we mm. retire. We're not probably going to retire, mm. and you're calling us lazy." Mm. And you want us to pay this debt? It's like, mm. hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once yeah. they know, once people know that there's another option, yeah. What do you think they're going to do? Yeah, they're going to switch. Of course, they yeah, are. they're going like, to switch. But it's going to be too late for most of them. I agree. I but agree. Like, That's a sad. Once, once they realise it, once it clicks, they're going to go. Oh, why did I? What was I th- yeah. thinking? Yeah, yeah. When I was standing there with my banner yeah. protesting yeah. all I had to do was open my phone which is already in my hand because yeah. it's all in every hand yeah. of everyone our age yeah. and I had to download a wallet mm-hmm. which would have taken 30 seconds mm-hmm. and I had to press buy yeah yeah. That's what I had to do in my yeah, life. Yeah, That's yeah. how hard yeah. it is. And they won't do it. Yeah, they won't do it. <laughs> it's yeah. A, it's, yeah, I think just, I think it's the fear of the unknown for the majority of people. It's just they don't really understand it. I mean, I, I've been, some of my friends are, they're really super smart, but it just, I don't, I don't know whether it's, it's a time thing or just, no interest in it but yeah like I said there'll come a point in time where it'll be just too late for these guys do they and still text you every time there's a drop going how's Bitcoin uh, not anymore not, they used to <laughs> all the time it's like how's Bitcoin every time it drops 10-20% I was like don't care I just bought more <laughs> yeah I love those texts. yeah yeah I they're my favourite days yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, stack sats yes yeah I don't really get that many of those texts anymore because like I said I've sort of yeah. stopped with most people yeah but it used to annoy me. Mm. It used to annoy me because you could see they're like so gleeful when it drops. Yeah, yeah, like, of course. Oh, yeah, that was Bitcoin. It's like yeah, 20%. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but it's also done 250% in the last year. So yeah, exactly. It's 20%. Nothing. Don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> they're, they're just too, too short-sighted. Yeah, they're too short-sighted. Yeah. So is there any other projects? This is, I can't believe I'm even asking this because I don't believe in them. But is there anything yeah. else that you're, um, that, that has it? Your attention to to some degree. No, I think what I've learned about this bear market is to keep ninety five percent of your portfolio in Bitcoin because, I mean, if you look at old coins compared to Bitcoin, yeah, it's Bitcoin is winning without a shadow of yeah. doubt. You look at the the mark with the the um, Bitcoin dominance, it's 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 growing. Mm. Yeah, I but don't get me wrong. I think there is still money to be made in old coins. I think there's yeah. still a few cycles to be made from money from old coins. Oh, for sure. Because no one, no one understands yeah. it, so they're going to buy Exactly. It. But I think there will come a, a realization that everything an old coin can do, Bitcoin can do as well. Yeah, it can just and, and do it better. And it's, you know, it's probably the only cryptocurrency where you could say it's truly decentralized, which has yeah, tremendous value, yeah, which has huge value. It's the only point, like, if you, if you have a blockchain... Mm. And it's not decentralized. All it's you've pointless. Got is a yeah. really inefficient database. I agree. It's like I agree. I agree. Well, it's basically like having an Excel spreadsheet, but making it ten thousand times less efficient. Um, yeah. Try and then if you but if you try and sell it like that, if you were like, hey guys, like I've got this great idea. What I'm going to do is make an Excel spreadsheet, and then I'm going to make it ten thousand times less easy to use. And mm. less efficient. Mm. Do you want to fund me? Everyone yeah. would either slap you or tell you. Yeah, of course. Off. But what's actually happened is mm. people have ploughed billions yeah. into these. Yeah. EOS, four billion. Yeah. Who was that Brock Pierce guy? Uh, EOS. EOS. Yeah, it's EOS. And like, you only have to look at him and yeah. you go, scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it would, like, two seconds you go, yeah. right, scam. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. a scam. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then you've got all these other ones that are trying to do the same thing. And people, people like really smart people, are still like, yeah, you know, these yeah. things are going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's also um, down to greed. I think most of that's greed because they think that now have like because they have heavy bags. Yeah, they want to sell it. 
Yeah, exactly. And do you think they believe in it though still, or are they just acting and they're trying to sell it to? to well, I think any any people who are doing other projects saw how hold most of the value in Bitcoin. Yeah. But yeah, it's but you look at the life cycle of all these alts. I mean, back in the day, there was like Feather Coin and yeah. whatever, whatever. They're all gone now, and I can almost guarantee you the next bull market, the top ten in the previous bull market, it will be, be the complete same. change. What's your thoughts on, like, I'm, I've got no interest in it personally, but with Ethereum, what is, because that's the one where, mm. like, a lot of the time I'll speak to people about Bitcoin, mm. and then they'll go, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying, like, uh, yeah, I hear what you're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm going to buy Ethereum. And you're like, no, yeah. no, 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 have you not listened to what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've told you Bitcoin, and they're like, yeah, 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 but I've seen it on, because it's on news channels, and you've got a lot of people who have these legitimate businesses yeah, yeah. who sell the Ethereum and talk about how wonderful it is. Yeah. Do you, like, are you of the opinion now that it's just like, it's a failed project? Because um, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like, it's massive. It's, it's a big project and I almost say almost too, but there's so many people behind it. I mean, you look at their Ethereum Alliance, some of the biggest companies are involved in, in the Ethereum Alliance. Because hmm. um, it's ETH 2.0 is coming out. Yeah, so it's like they've got they basically... constant updates. They're going, so they're moving away from proof of work to proof of stake. They're yeah. going to proof proof of stake, supposedly. Supposedly, be... we don't know when when's going to happen because it seems like it's just like tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, but, tomorrow. But yeah, exactly. That's how constantly, it feels. constantly. Yeah, <sighs> it's difficult. I I think you know Ethereum does does offer something slightly different in that it, it's sort of the first one that sort of mastered the smart contracts. But that I do b- but I do understand that Bitcoin can do smart contracts. Yeah. But I think if Bitcoin conquered money, I think it's one. And I just think like in everything in the world, there's no such thing as a monopoly in anything. Yeah, you do. There's always need... going to be something. There's always going to be yeah, something yeah. with something. So... Will will Bitcoin be the Microsoft and Ethereum be the Mac? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe something like it. Yeah. I think. But but then there's so, like I'm I'm like decentralized I'm, finance is sort of like you know is their next thing now. So okay, their first that, phase was ICOs. Yeah, but that is bullshit. Now it's decentralized that, finance. That decentralized yeah. finance stuff annoys me because yeah. it's absolute bullshit. Yeah. First, they were the world computer. Yeah. Then they were yeah. the ICO platform. Yeah, ICO platform. Then yeah. they were, and they were Bitcoin two point oh. Yeah. And then then they then they started saying, oh well, Bit, uh, ETH is money. Yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. They fucking clearly don't yeah. understand. It's not yeah. money. Yeah. And then and and now it's DeFi. Yeah. It's just Fi because yeah. there's no D. It's yeah, not decentralized. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not decentralized. Yeah. And no one's running these nodes, so it's just Fi, mm. and so. It's just banking, yeah. But but it's just banking, but a bit less secure and less efficient. Mm-hmm. That annoys me. Like they're, they're trying to constantly move the goalposts, yeah. And it can't be money because they don't they don't know what their supply is, still. yeah. And and none of it's proven. Mm. But then you have like Andreas Antonopoulos, who I really respect, mm. and like he's one of the people who really helped me understand Bitcoin. Mm. But he seems to believe in it. Yeah, okay. And the way he talks about it is like, it's like lion and shark. You've got Bitcoin is money. Any of you Ethereum people who you think is money, like, grow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just grow up. Yeah. I'm so fucking stupid. But he he believes that Ethereum could be useful for other things. Yeah. I don't know quite what. Yeah. He thinks it could be useful. And, and he says, you know, they're going for completely different, like you're saying, like, you know, you're your Mac and you're... Yeah, 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 yeah. But he seems to believe in it. And so he's a smart guy and he is like, a very smart guy so it makes me sometimes think like maybe well, there is something yeah in? yeah but whatever it is if there's something yeah i cannot see it yeah and i have no interest and like Fair i'd enough. never advise anyone Fair from enough. my podcast to, i agree but I but, agree. but always be open to just you know or have like, yeah i mean my advice is if you're interested just have less percentage than you have in big yeah 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 because it's yeah it's yeah. um it's they couldn't should always be your majority allocated assets yeah do you know anyone who's um, more from a traditional background who's who's got who's starting to actually accumulate to, to some degree now? Uh, probably, probably only my 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 girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she comes from a finance background, like I said, and 
she gets it. I wouldn't say she religiously invests in it, mm-hmm. but if I asked her to, this is a good price to go in. She'll go in. Right. She will definitely go in. So she will take your advice on things. Yeah. She just doesn't follow it. But no. She, she gets the basics. No. But I'll be the same as probably your girlfriend, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she actually gets it. Okay, that's like, good. Yeah, yeah. Bronte is yeah, yeah. one of the... Well, only... she religiously, like, every time no. it dips, it go, she buys. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just... But she's one of the only people mm. in the world who I speak to mm. who's like, yeah, obviously. That's good. Like, yeah, it's, which is amazing because I, I do, do think people need to be a little bit more open-minded. And first, question what money is. Yeah. That is the most important thing to understand Bitcoin. It's embarrassing though, isn't it? Like what to you, ask? No, like no. When you realise, oh how, yeah, that you didn't know. Like how much of a dickhead? Did you I know. Like, yeah, hundred percent. The thing is, I was very fortunate. I think I, my dad never believed in money, so that helped. So I always questioned money all, all the time. Always questioned money. And then I watched this film. Like it was one day, I just couldn't sleep. It's called The Zeitgeist. Oh, you told me. About yeah, that. and one of the segments in the film is about money. How yeah. how. How creation of money is an illusion. There is nothing intrinsically backing money apart from yeah. armies, I guess, yeah. um, military. Um, it's force. It's money by force. Yeah, it's money by force. Yeah, it exactly, um, and uh, and that's it. And and when when you realise there is an alternative, mm. I think I think because we work, we live in a um, a system that you know it works. It, fairly it, well. It fairly well, it works fairly well. So there's no reason to understand it. But you look at countries where it's highly inflationary. You look at Zimbabwe. You look at Venezuela. Mm. What's happening? You know where money has been completely. It's nonsense. You mean like yeah, in Zimbabwe really is like ten trillion to buy a loaf of bread. I've got. Like, what, I've got one of yeah, yeah, exactly. Here. What, what like they get Bitcoin. And I wouldn't oh, be yeah. surprised these countries then become the next major players because. They've understood and have experienced yeah. the flaws of money, how it has no intrinsic value. Yeah. And as soon as hyperinflation kicks in or, or any form of high inflation, your money just devalues. Yeah, so they get it because they yeah. experience it. Correct. We, Which we, is maybe why majority of the UK won't understand it until we go through something of that some, of, of, of yeah, a similar, similar kind of... I don't think it will happen in time soon because I think not we've to lived, we're not to our level because we've lived through it and we don't have a, I mean, our government's not great, but I mean, the, the governments in Venezuela are so corrupt yeah. and, and in, um, in Zimbabwe, they're so corrupt. Well, they're all corrupt. They are, but not but, to that extent. So well, whether we go to that level, I don't know. It's, it, I always say, maybe it's corrupt. Like, <laughs> we're, we're all corrupt. We are all, mm. all the governments are corrupt. Or can be corrupted, yeah. But, it's, but some are just much more sophisticated. The British Empire, we are very good mm. at not looking corrupt. Yeah. And, and, and getting the, the line so it's like people question what's going mm. on. They know things are getting worse, but mm. they don't know why. Why? 100%. So, but they get it to that right level. Whereas in Venezuela, it's like, well, hold on. I went to go and pay for this chicken and now it's four times more money Mm -hmm. in one minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have to question it. Because it's like, hold on a minute. Like, I can't even feed my family. Whereas for us, life's just getting a bit worse each year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's life and death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So ours is gradual and you sort of forget. Was life better 10 years ago? Yeah, 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 100%. Was the surveillance state quite as bad? And and was I allowed to speak freely 10 years ago? And like... And it, because it's creeping, it's like yeah. the, the frog boiling in water, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 hundred yeah. percent. And and that's hundred percent. And we're just really skilled at it, like England. Hundred percent. Like, they're yeah, so yeah, yeah. good. We're doing that such a long yeah, time. Yeah, I never thought of it like that, but yeah. So yeah, I guess it's, but it's um, we, we are lucky, and uh, I don't know, like I'm ranting about it, but we are com- compared to the, most of the world. Mm-hmm. Like you were saying to me, mm-hmm. like I'm talking now, I'm slagging off government. Mm. there's a point where like you know there's times when I think like oh you just, just shut up Max. just don't say that because you're rocking the boat like the nail that stands out furthest is going to get hammered hardest mm. but but I believe in it so I think if I don't say it then who will yeah but the difference is it's unlikely someone's going to burst through my door right now and shoot me mm. whereas if you're in a lot of these countries mm. you say the sort of things I'm just saying yeah that's happening yeah I agree like not even a question that's happening yeah agreed so we are lucky that we can we can say that, and, but it is sliding that way. 
it's slow, mm. but it's sliding that mm. way. And if we don't talk about it, and if we don't mm. try and make changes, and we don't stand up for freedom of speech and stand up mm. for our rights and stand up for freedom of expression and, and stand up for these things, then it will go. Yeah, it's definitely going yep. that way. So it, you know, that's why it's important. Yeah, but um, anyway, well, mate, thanks very much for coming on. No worries. It's been really nice to to chat about it because we haven't really, yeah, of, yeah, 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 we haven't we haven't had the chance to sort of go over this stuff for a while and. Yeah, genuinely. Thank you again. For no problems. I've enjoyed it. Stuff. It's been um, it's been world changing. It yeah, really has. I so, mean, I I just can't believe the max I knew two years ago <laughs> compared to now. <laughs> <laughs> Hated technology. Didn't want to update any of his apps. Yeah, I was, it just yeah. And then uh, was the Bitcoiner that didn't know he was a Bitcoin. Yeah. And uh, now I would say you're much more technical than me. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I get the technical side of things, but you know it way better than I do. Right. But I'm more into the politics, the economics of it. Yeah. Um, that that's what fascinates me the yeah. the most. It's yeah. that for me is as well. But it just got to a yeah. point. I was following all of that stuff. I was like, do you know what? There's one bit here where I don't understand. Like you say, you've got geopolitics, mm. you've got all the finance side of it, you've got all of all of these different aspects. And the one bit that I was like, I'm just don't understand was the technical stuff. So yeah. Like, I need to start learning to code. Yeah. I need to start playing with this yeah. technology. It doesn't come naturally to me, but it's, it's something where I was like, this is where there's a hole in my knowledge. And yeah. I want to understand this fully. Yeah. So uh, now you fully understand it, you now know it's. It's almost like the perfect system. I would say it is. Yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for coming on, mate. No problems. And look forward uh, to the next one. Yeah. We'll have you on again soon. Yeah. <laughs> Open door policy. Always invited. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There we are.